going to fix this data table. Um, before we do that, it's important to understand how a data table works and what you might use one for. And so this um, is from this SimNet project and someone has donated $20,000 and the school knows that in 12 years they're going to need to spend $28,000. And so they're trying to determine at what annual percentage rate they're going to need to invest that money so that they make sure they have $28,000 or possibly more. And so right now there's 6% in this um, box here. And so this formula at the top of this data table should contain the formula that you want to use um, to calculate what the future value would be based on each one of these different percentage rates. And so we could do this manually. We could do 0.5% right here and get, um, oops, I did 50%, 0.05, um, that's 5%, point, point oh 0.05, sorry, I didn't, hadn't looked at the, the formatting for that cell yet, so if we did, and notice that it says 1%, that's just because the formatting, and again, I hadn't looked at that before I started, is not showing the decimal places, so when you're showing the decimal places, you can see that that's 0.05%, so after 12 years, the future value, and so the future value, the first argument is the rate, which is right here, and then the number of periods, which is 12 years, and then the number of payments, which we have zero, or yeah, the payment amount, which is zero, and then the present value, which is this 20,000. And so if we use 0.5%, it would be 21,234. So if we wanted to do this manually, we could type that in, but Excel will calculate that for us. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back at the 6% rate that it was sitting at before. And we can have Excel do, build this data table for us without us having to manually do it. And so there are a bunch of zeros in here now. We're just gonna highlight all those and hit the delete key to get rid of them. And then it's important that you have that formula in the top um, of your data table above the empty cells that you're wanting to fill in. And then here we need a blank cell above all of those rates that you're going to use. And so it's going to use each one of these rates in the data table to actually plug that in right here and then calculate those values and insert it. So we go to data and we use the what if analysis tool data table. And so it's a really simple box here. Um, and so the first thing you gotta do is figure out where do I put information? And all we're gonna do is use this column input cell, okay? Because these inputs, these are the inputs into the function that we want to use. Um, these are the inputs and they're in a column. So they are a column input and we would be inputting them into this cell right here if we were gonna do this manually and figure out what each one of these values is. So if we click this cell right here and click OK, it automatically calculates that. So let's look at the 6% one right here, and there's that amount. When I'm building data tables, and this is not a requirement of your homework assignment, um, but to make this easier to read because that value is just kind of funny sitting there, I change the font color of it to white, and then you don't even see it. Um, or you can hide that row entirely. Um, and so you end up with the same data table, you just don't see that row. You have to have it there to create it, but then you can hide it afterwards. And so then you just have your rates and your values. So we can actually look, remember they needed 28,000. So as long as they're getting about 3% return, they're gonna have their 28,000 after 12 years.